Have you ever been eating a cheese pizza with cheesy crust and thought, you know what? There's just not enough cheese on this pizza. Well, Domino's have you covered. That's right, they have brought out a brand new innovation called the Cheese, cheese volcano. volcano. A volcano. That's a volcano. Volcano. Yes, despite being called the cheese volcano, it, it kind of looks more like a small pool of cheese. But anyway, it looks pretty exciting. It is basically just a cheese pizza, but they've put some cheese sauce on top of it. Like it looks like nacho cheese, like that weird sort of like yellow American cheese sauce. I don't actually know what what it's made out of. I think I think the cheese is actually in inverted commas. It's cheese sauce. But anyway, it looks edible. It looks fine. It looks interesting and I'm keen to check it out. So I'm here at Domino's and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's check out this cheese volcano. Hi there, is that one ready yet for Gerald Sack? It's for the, um, for the pizza volcano. Uh, the lava. Yeah, the lava one, yeah. yeah. Cool. Have you tried that yet? Sorry? Have you tried that one yet? No, no. it looks like plastic. So yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty, I'm back from Domino's with my cheese volcano now. Uh, this is just in a mini box. I, I've seen some other people. They got a special cheese volcano box, so I'm not too happy with uh, not getting a special box. But anyway, let's just take a look at what this cheese volcano is all about. And uh, there it is there. Hmm. Looking a bit small, but definitely definitely looking like cheese. But yeah, like I said, not really, not really like a volcano. It, uh, it smells like cheese, I'll give them that much, but uh, what, what does it taste like, and uh, most importantly, is it any good? Let's have a go. Wow. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, mm, I don't know yet. Whoa, hang on. Look at that. Jeez. That is, oh my god. Wow, that was the longest mozzarella stretch I've ever seen. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not, it's not bad. I mean, the thing I know about Domino's is that the mozzarella cheese, like this white sort of cheese here, that is actually quite expensive. I've heard that is quite expensive. And, um, you know, they'll charge extra for other stuff to subsidize the mozzarella cheese. In fact, I saw something incredible just ordering this Domino's pizza just before. You can pay $3 extra to get your pizza faster. Like, that's insane. It used to be back in the day, if you didn't get your pizza on time, it would be free. But now it's like, if you want it earlier, you can pay $3 and get a skip the queue thing. Like, at Disneyland or something. That's pretty cheeky, and it was still on offer for me. It's like 10 p.m. right now. I was the only one there, but I still could have maybe accidentally paid three dollars extra if I was like an idiot, but or or if or if you know I was under the influence of uh, alcohol or opiates, which a lot of people who order pizza this late at night are. So you know they're they're being very cheeky there. I think anyway, this uh, this cheese sauce, yeah, it really is that like American style kind of smoky sort of cheese. Is it Jack cheese? I'm not sure. Maybe Jack off cheese. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, it, it does like have that overwhelming flavor of that cheese. So if you like that cheese, then it's fine. But um, it's it's really not that good by itself. It's also got some garlic on it, which um, is actually not that bad. I think as a side, it's pretty good. But you know, to be honest, the best bits are the are this crust here. I think if they made just uh, like got rid of the this orange cheese sauce, this cheese, and just had like some garlic sort of butter, that would be like better. Actually, the the extra cheese, the volcano cheese or or the magma cheese here doesn't really um doesn't really add to it at all. To be honest, it it kind of detracts from the the dough and the cheese, which go together really well. It's just this extra American cheese stuff. I don't think it's that great. Hmm, apparently, like, on the marketing, you're supposed to dip stuff in, but I can't really dip anything into that. It's, like, not deep enough at all, so, you know, 
a shame there. Now this does really resemble something they had in Domino's Japan and Malaysia just a few months ago. I think it was called the Cheesy Volcano again. And that was a little bit different. That was like a, uh, a little cup full of cheese in the middle of a normal pizza with like the dough put over it. There's some footage here that uh, Critical Eats Japan took. Thank you, Critical Eats Japan. And um, that did uh, look a lot more like a volcano to me. So it was more worthy of the name a cheese volcano. I think given the tectonic sort of activity in Japan, they're a lot more sensitive when it comes to volcanoes and like the accuracy of naming things volcanoes. So maybe, you know, Australia without any active volcanoes were a bit more chill about like what to call a volcano and, and what not to. We, um, we don't care as much, but in Japan, you know, they're very, they're very fussy about, um, you know, calling things volcanoes. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that looked uh, actually kind of, again, it looked alright on the ads, but you know, in the videos I saw it, it, it didn't look that good. It was just a, a bucket of cheese, of this cheese. So, I don't know, Domino's Australia and Domino's Japan, they're like the same parent company or something. So, they look at each other's notes constantly, I suppose. And yeah, they must have, must have had a huge shipment of that weird orange cheese sauce. And they're just like, what do we do with this? Let's just dump it on Australia. I don't care. So, yeah, I don't know. Th this would work all right as like a swirl on some other pizza. But just as the focus of a pizza, it's, it's kind of not that good. I mean, they're not calling it a pizza, which is great, but um, yeah, just like as something on the side as a little bit of a novelty, it's okay. But uh, yeah, the cheese might work as a sauce on some sort of nacho cheese pizza. That's an idea for you. Dominoes. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Check out uh, redbubble.com. Uh, I'll put the link below. Get some merch. This is a new, a new shirt. FDSK. For any uh, LSKD kids out there, this this shirt it possibly infringes on that copyright, but I like to think of it as a tribute. Um, parody, I think, is still legal, so I'm not sure. Um, I had a bad experience with the uh, with the Billy Joel people. Um, they did threaten to uh, to to give me the give me the Captain Jack treatment. You know what that means. But uh, yeah, the uh, get this, get this. This was uh, 20 bucks. They do like sales on Redbubble every so often. So this was 20 bucks. It's uh, it's it's comfortable. It uh, is striking, and will perhaps raise the eyebrow of passers-by. And isn't that what you want? So anyway, many thanks for watching. Many thanks for liking and subscribing. And I will catch you all later. Cheers.